<laughs> but I used to no, but I used to go there. Like I used to use the gym. I'm not sure if that, that was allowed because a lot of the gyms were closed in most of the buildings in in mm-hmm. Bahrain. But I did go there regularly. I went for a run because that was the only time I could walk out there without a mask. And then during that time, after our time, le, I came back to seventy four. And Matan mm-hmm. knows. I the half photo I generated. uh and i i looked like pretty much on point there not and then mm. again over the last day open the do rag okay which and over a post like a government uh pangana angana poi then last year uh, i i had to when i tried to come to the uk initially i had to sit the plav exam from angana i came here ivade the problem here is it's so cold outside you can't run you hey, cannot bad. run So, I didn't want to go to school for a long time. I didn't want to go to school for a long time. It was so bloody cool. And I looked at like, I looked at like a pond close by. And I'm like, that's <laughs> well, that's well, that's well. And I'm like, oh shit, it's like ice. And I didn't want to go. And I was like, I'm never going to run. I'll just go to a gym and like run on the treadmill or something. I'm never going to do it again. So, that's the problem. I didn't want to go to school for a long time. So that's the thing i'm going to call a limitation on that but you should always try to come up with a style ipo meal prep diary parnale nana and the diet over here i've seen a lot of people who come to the uk or a pattern one number ko reason being is namaki diet is a big issue so you always depend on fast food i'm going to eat three fast food each from 74 i'm saying it on this now i came up to 94 95 mm. i'm not sure if that was visible or not maybe it, and the face la ngana vanna makkilla and the body la and the and the, and the upper body la vanna makkilla thayota vanna makkana so i'm going to gain like a lot of weight and as of late i've come on with a diet regimen and there's something called meal prep from mm. dr machan is doing his meal prep but i i get, i approached the company they be doing mm. meal prep for me so like three i'll show you for exactly what he said give me like two seconds Okay. Where are you now? Okay, let's do two seconds. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. And I was telling you, you know, so you see. So, you see. So, this is like, it's a protein, chalk, banana pro- porridge. It's got 15 mm-hmm. grams of protein. 281 calories. Okay. Secondly, you don't have to go all fancy, by the way. You don't have to, uh, if I'm, uh, uh, and there is a common misconception that you have to completely avoid carbohydrates because that will lead to you making fat but i also mm-hmm. realized i was so tired when i didn't have carbohydrates and my mind was always craving i was so bound to break my diet because i was so insistent on just having protein because i was like that's the only way i can bulk up so that's not right so eat your diet like veggie thai noodles 13 grams 360 calorie it looks like it's got like you know soya it's got uh it's got meat it's got like carbohydrates it doesn't have to be all this thing and mm. then the last thing is uh butter chicken skewers whatever 35 grams of protein 350 calories okay 350 calories you don't have to go fancy so all this only comes from how much 350 plus 9 6 6 700 calories itrem pakshanam is only 900 calories you know so you don't have to starve yourself just have to have a good regimen and that's See, probably that's and it. for those of you who love to cook or who are trying to cook yeah trust me you need two things you need youtube and you need a couple of ingredients that's it and just explore it trust me sometimes you may make a horrible tasting dish that's okay just don't make it again <laughs> but trust me if you if you like cooking and getting in the kitchen it's totally worth it because once you get into that sort of thing you come up with new ways to make healthier food taste amazing you know it's it's a really nice sort of um distraction i mean especially each and every one of us in this pandemic have either been bored stressed angry frustrated or super upset at the fact that there's so many restrictions and so many things going around this is one of those little ways that can sort of bright up brighten up your day just a little bit so trust me get into the kitchen but Very importantly, we've been talking about diet for so long. And you know why? Because diet is the most important thing. Having a good diet sets you up 
for everything else, whether it's diabetes, whether it's reducing your risk of heart attacks and strokes, kidney disease, gut disease, liver disease, diet, 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 diet plays a role every single place. So we've talked about diet for quite a while, and now I think we've given our, our viewers quite a comprehensive overview of what a good diet can do. But what about what what about exercise? A lot of people have this misconception that if we run only an hour and a half a day, will our weight, you know, will our weight go down? What should we do? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask our resident, you know, <laughs> Mr. Mollywood. അല്ല എന്റെ ഇതില് ഇപ്പം ഈ വർക്ക്ഔട്ട് ഞാൻ പല പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പൊ ഇപ്പൊ ഇവരുടെ അഡ്വൈസ് സംബരി ഞാൻ അവരുടെ ഒരു സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദ ബിഗിനിങ് എക്സസൈസ് സോ മെനി ടൈംസ് കറക്ട്ലി ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ഷേപ്പ് വോട്ട് ഡു ഐ ഡു ഷുഡ് ഐ ഗോ ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ടു ദ ജിം വോട്ട് ഐ ഡു അപ്പൊ ഇതിനകത്ത് മൂന്ന് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാം എന്റെ ഒരു ഒപ്പീനിയനിൽ വൺ ഫിസിക്കൽ ഫിറ്റ്നസ് കുറച്ച് ഇതിലാണെങ്കിൽ ഫിസിക്കൽ ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ബിൽഡ് ചെയ്യാം അതും ഒറ്റൊരു ദിവസം കൊണ്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല അപ്പൊ ഒരു ദിവസം കൊണ്ട് ഒരു ഒരു മണിക്കൂർ ഓടാൻ പറ്റില്ല യു ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ടു ബട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റ് ദർ യു ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് സംവെയർ സി യു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് ലെറ്റ് സെ ഒരു ഒരു ഹാഫ് ആൻ അവർ ഓഫ് വോക്കിംഗ് അതും വോക്കിംഗ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു ബ്രിസ്ക് വോക്കിംഗ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് കുറച്ച് ഇതില്ല ഒരു കുറച്ച് ഒരു പേസിൽ ലിസൺ ടു യുവർ ഫേവറേറ്റ് ജാം യു നോ ആൻഡ് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ യുവർ സേഫ് വെയർ ഓഫ് യുവർ വോക്കിംഗ് Uh, I mean, because that's an important thing as well. If you're really desperate to walk and you're walking in unsafe places, something else will kill you, despite not the diet or the exercise. So make sure you're safe where you walk. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but anyway. Kidding me. So you start with that. When I went to advise my mom, for example, I'm like, you don't have to do anything fancy because she always thinks of yoga when i when i ask her to do a workout or when i ask when i suggest that she does work out she's like oh yoga cheyanam adinu enikku pe idilla enikku internet connection illa enikku mattress illa you know idana time illa no you just have to go for a walk like get some kind of exercise in really now if it's that so if you fancy yoga you might as well do that but um, it's not everybody's um, lifestyle or financial circumstances may allow that but if it's good it's a good way of doing it why not now if you if you're somebody who wants to work out at the gym i wouldn't say no to that as well it's not uh, although machan mentioned it's that's not the only way but that is a way if if any ki personally any ki three options are nal my first pick would be the gym and the only reason of not being able to go to the gym is if our our social circumstances the we have omicron hitting us a lot of things these things are going to be closed even if it's not closed when you go into the gym namaku full time mask vechi work out cheyan pattilla etra edu parnalum you see people walking with mask with like ivada mask ittu you're not wearing a mask you rather just not wear the mask and maintain social distance uh, you know clean your equipment clean your hands and you do it safely i don't i understand why people uh, might not want to work out at the gym but if you want to I mean, you know, give it a go, you know. You just uh, try and work. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm If you're working somewhere, or working or not, try to take the stairs. Uh, if you have to go to the fourth floor, don't get your lazy uh, to take the lift. Just, uh, you know, take the stairs. uh you know the the moment end aidu adu is up to you up to your imagination you can fill the gap ayya adu the imagine avan thani manasilayalla ini aanandra varayala avan take the stairs then now uh angana kore karyangal undu now what i used to do is before previously when i used to wake up in the morning i used to do like 50 i mean 50 is a bit excessive you start with five pushups it doesn't have to be the proper one in kneel down push ups cheyan pattum there is no ah lady nammala da ee desk desk okke undi da ingane undu namukku ayya cheya yeah kache oru prashnam illa i don't know very sorry night loss na kanikkan vendi neetu nanu ah adu appo anath anath oru kuzhappu illa some people say uh, your ego problem varum kato like some people say oh you know you are only supposed to do 
I don't know if that's a thing, but in the end, some people have an ego issue. There's no need mm-hmm. to be shy. Just do whatever your physical fitness helps you and you build it up slowly and sustainably. I used to push it. If I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I'm not sure what it is. But I didn't hear it. You can do some sit-ups. You can, uh, you know, uh, another interesting thing is exercise band. Mm. Get one exercise band. That's a very interesting way of doing it. I mean, you're six months old. after i lost weight ha are kanda ya pa kanda kanda ende mane kanda what did i say then okay adu ingane adha na adha secret ah sad adha appa see look ya parjile so these are the things when covid came you can just get an ex- exercise band you don't have to go to the gym from how i maintain my fitness is though all the pala gyms are closed there now they were in, in close vicinity so i had an exercise band Uh, but i used to you know do like i could do pull ups i could do like uh, you know bicep curls here but there no i could do mm-hmm. back exercises i could do tricep uh, extension try triceps ah then our shoulder press could you make adiki i can't tell you but all the people our viewers can see kodi irikkunde ninge kaana kodi undengile ini subscribe idu follow cheyyu vere vere videos le music with body muscles verunadana നമ്മുടെ ന്യൂട്ടൻ സാർ പറഞ്ഞ മാതിരി every action has an opposite and equal reaction that means if you go on a fast on a fast route to your physical fitness athare patna the physical fitness taare vidu but if you take your time and have sustainable growth you keep growing at a steady rate your chances of going down at that rate will be small and even if you do that will be small it will be easy to recover for you so your weight loss journey whether it's diet whether it's exercise have slow sustainable growth and don't check don't check your weighing scale every every two days or every three days maximum Apo, once a month panate the uh, very good three points i want to pick sorry and the favorite number three are and any three points le merulu first point first point is anaraya when you said e sustainable growth it's very important because പല ആൾക്കാരും പെട്ടെന്ന് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒത്തിരി ട്രൈ ചെയ്യും ആൻഡ് ദേ ദേ ലൈക് ഐ നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ഐ ഐ കാൻ ഡൂ ഇറ്റ് സോ ദേ ലുക്ക് ഫോർ അതർ ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ വേസ് ഓഫ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് എബിലിറ്റി ബി ഇറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ ഐ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇൻ ഇൻ ലൈക്ക് കമ്പറ്റേറ്റീവ് കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ഓൾ ദോ ഇറ്റ് നോട്ട് റെക്കമെൻഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ഡു അനബോളിക് സ്റ്റിറോയ്ഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ഫൈൻഡ് എസ് എ വേ ടു ഗെറ്റ് മോർ എനർജി ആൻഡ് ഗെറ്റ് ബിഗർ ആൻഡ് തിങ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സൈഡ് എഫക്ട്സ് ആർ ഇൻസെയിൻ സോ മച്ച് യു സീ സീ യങ് പീപ്പിൾ ഡൈങ് ഫ്രോം ഹാർട്ട് അറ്റാക്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റിറോയ്ഡ്സ് exactly so that's what my chance said so when he said keep it sustainable you don't have to go this way because then you'll have to you'll drop this way and then you'll end up in very unfortunate circumstances so always keep it steady been uh, mm, another thing that he uh, anatuna uh, there's a small kind of thing about protein muscle vakkanengil protein powder kaikanam creatinine kaikanam bcaas kaikanam anganonu illa now that is just a way of complementing your diet honestly speaking if you have enough protein intake in your diet there is no need for it but if you want to also there's not an issue given you use good quality products you use things that in moderation according to in that the pam if you want to if you use five scoops that's like 24 grams sends for that's like 150 കിഡ്നിയിൽ അടിച്ചു പോകും കിഡ്നി സ്റ്റോൺസ് വരും യു ഷുഡൻ ബി എക്സസീവ് ആ ഒരു റെക്കമെൻഡഡ് അമൗണ്ടിൽ ട്രൈ ടു കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് വിത്ത് യുവർ ഡയറ്റ് ആസ് മച്ച് എസ് പോസിബിൾ ബട്ട് ഐ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വി ആർ നോട്ട് നോട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് പോസിബിൾ ഫോർ ഓൾ ഓഫ് അസ് ടു ഈറ്റ് ലോഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് അങ്ങനെ കെയർഫുൾ ആവാൻ പറ്റില്ല വൈ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് വൈ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദി കേസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇംപോർട്ടന്റ് ഇൻ ഡയബിറ്റീസ് ഇസ് ഓഫ് വൈ ആർ നോട്ട് ഓൾ ഓഫ് അസ് ഏബിൾ ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ഗൺസ് ലൈക് ഡോക്ടർ കീത് ഓവർ ഹിയർ ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻ എവറി ഡിസീസ് ഓർ എവറിഥിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ട്രൈ ടു ഡു ടു ചേഞ്ച് അവർ ബോഡി 
there's something called genetics as well. Now, genetics are never 100% the reason in these cases. Neither is the environment 100% the reason in these cases. It is always a mix. And so sometimes what happens is you'll see some people, they will eat an entire large pizza and they'll still be fine. They still look great. For me, for example, I sniff one large pizza and I immediately gain 10 kg. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> but the point is... Hey, for you, large that... pizza, no? For me, I sniff air, I gain weight. Okay, so I forget it. <laughs> <laughs> but but see that's the thing so we never know what percentage it is it, you know whether it's 90 percent environment 10 percent genetics we will never know because every single individual is different but the point of the matter is it will take different times for different people so do not give up it takes time some people can get it in three months some people six some people it might take two years but weight loss is possible for every single person now it's all about the journey. It's all about sticking with it. Most importantly, don't do it alone. Well, you're going to be bored out of your mind. Do it with someone who can motivate you, who can help you, who, who might have been there, who can tell you, hey, don't give up. Hit, hit, hit the gym today. Go for 20 minutes, but hit the gym today. Okay. And after, very, 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 in the three points, if you can, if your financial circumstances led to you, and if you are fortunate enough, I would try to get a trainer. If you can, it's not a must. Must I lie? I'm saying it for people who can. I think one other, if you don't have a lot about somebody checking on you, that happens. Now, if, you're, if you have a trainer with you, Jimmy Poilingly, Illingilum, there are people who check on your diet, and people who check on when you, when you go to the gym. Sometimes, if you're by yourself and you just want to do it, if I, I'll come to the second bit. Don't, uh, don't, don't fire yes. me down. Okay. Hey, Lille, just, just for example, I, I'm personally not in a position to st- start getting trainers and everything. So who, this is, this is, I came up with an idea and so far it's been working well. And I want to give a shout out to two of my cousins over here who've been really been helping me. All right. Okay. One, to help me make sure that I am actually motivated every day to keep going no matter what. Uh, one of my cousins, Shruti Menon. Hi, Shruti. Shruti, checking up every day, being like, okay, you got to do this, got to do that. And so Shruti has been like, you know, Keep doing like all the all your work. Make sure you're healthy and all that kind of stuff. And my other cousin, another machana of mine, I'm like Kiran Krishna Gumar. What's up, man? Abo upparana, our diet, our gym. Ada ni gym le poyo na. Ada ni diet engre. Constantly check up on each other. And every day we make sure we send each other messages to motivate ourselves. And so if you can't afford a trainer, trust me, hit your cousins up. They will be so down for this. I'm telling you. No matter how old you are. Perfect, Marnella. Absolute perfect. On point. On point. Exactly what I, what I wanted to say. So, uh, I'll, I'll go back to what I said. If you have your own routine, if you're working by yourself, you know you have to do this, 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 and this. Do these many reps and do it in this one. But if you're doing it, if you have a trainer, it's okay. But if you're doing it with somebody, there's somebody to make sure that you do, do it all. Because sometimes your mind would be like, I try and say that, or if it, you don't want to go heavy because you're thinking, oh, there's, there isn't anybody to support me. So I might fail while I do my last set. We have somebody working with somebody. It's like, you'll make sure that you go the mile. And I know the difference because I worked out in teams before. Mm-hmm. I said, team will work out the end. Team will work out that takes ages to get something done. Just do it in two. Okay. Okay, I wanted to say something. It's a very important thing you brought up just, I think, about 10 seconds ago. And this is just, I know it's, it's a slight sidetrack, but we are experts in sidetracks. So we'll bring back to the main point in just a bit. Arshay, there's something you said that people have this fear that if I do it alone, I might fail. Right? And to, to anyone who's watching this, no matter how old you are, no matter what circumstance you're in, whether it is you fighting against diabetes, whether it's you fighting against anything, right? Doing it alone is not necessarily a bad thing because in that you find your strength and you realize how much you can push yourself to be even better. But in that journey though, whenever you feel like, I don't know if I can continue to carry on, don't be afraid to reach out to someone. It's, it's, not, it's not a sign of weakness. It's not saying that you can't do it or you will fail, but we're all humans at the end of the day. So if it's you going out against diabetes and you're like, man, this diet is killing me. 
I can't do workouts. I got so much stress in my life, which is natural for everyone who might be facing this. Honestly, talk to someone. I'm not, I'm not saying talk, pay, to pay someone to talk. Talk to the person next to you. But don't ever give up. You can do it on your own. You can, you will, but there will be times you need to talk to someone. So go ahead. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength to talk to someone. Okay. Abba, I totally 100% agree to that. But Yana, although I told about the trainer a bit, I am not in that position to have a trainer. <laughs> although I did mention it. So what I do, <laughs> I sound like a bloody hypocrite, but what I do is, I, so, my, so my brother, he's more mm. of in the same mindset as well. So, he wants to he kind of so he's the one who inspired me to have the meal prep to be fair because he tried it because i was so like my, my my main issue was these guys only like deliver at a certain time when i might not be available and mm-hmm. i don't have the setup where they can bring it to my house and i can have that setup then i was like oh pinna avare ingena kondu vanna la enik ingena seri avum so then they told me they can bring it to my workplace and i have a setup in the workplace so i'm like that solves my problem so it doesn't matter if i'm doing night days whatever i'm doing i can always get the meal prep ready when i want to so he gave me that idea it's only it was only possible because i was in touch with him and he saw me that although i'm generally a very motivated person i want to get stuff done and arun knows me but off late i was just off the chart i can't i couldn't get anything under control be it work be it my academics non extracurricular diet and it's just like it's not me and i'm losing myself although i haven't confessed it anyway i always keep it to myself really i always try to like uh, uh, just that, that is one thing so 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 that's a problem i always try to like like i'll, I'll start from next day and and streamline myself and streamline myself but it never happened so i kind of opened it to my brother and and you know he was like yeah hey, don't you know just do this i mean he he's like he gets into workout and he's like did you work out today man you should take care of yourself you should work out Did you eat today? Why, why are you eating from outside? You kind of like, so we have that bonding as well. So it doesn't have to be a trainer. It doesn't, we, it can be your own sibling. If you, if you don't mm. have that thing with your sibling, it can be anybody who is with you. It can even be your mom. I'm, it can be anybody. It doesn't have to be your cousin. It can be anybody. Anybody who you share a vibe with, who you want to achieve something, just talk to people. Honestly, even friends are in the group if you have friends that you can talk to in that way some people are very close to their friends which is good and i don't trust it our friends are in the group you can work with them in that way you know a very good point very good very nice but yeah. even us talking now we feel like we're talking to who could possibly become a family at the end of the day yeah. so we're sharing our thoughts we are not just blindly saying it for the sake of saying it we genuinely want to pass the message over we want to pass the experience over and we think that people maybe think alike they have similar problems that's why we humans at the end of the day we all have similar issues that's why when you watch a movie you're like oh i can relate to it because they understand that and when they make movies they make stories that everybody can relate to because all of us have the same problems true yeah so that's what it is anything what do you think enough? yeah What, what do you think about the medication portion okay uh medication but mm, uh like oh, what do you mean like your opinion in the sense like in in, in what angle are you think now we appropriate or as in what are the important points for medication as in is medication alone enough Oh yeah definitely not that's the whole point of i think that's that's the gist of where we're coming at really medication is something that your medical professional or your family doctor whoever is uh, inclined to start because they feel like your diet or your lifestyle or even your 3 month interval where they encourage you to focus on those things are not helping so it looks like uh, they they basically telling you if you go this way your sugar will kill you so we need to help you with medication yeah so that's just their way of helping you really it does not mean you need you don't need to focus on the other bits those are the essential bits this is just a way of helping you now if you get more comfortable with the medications you start with it's just going to keep adding up because it's going to be one when they try another medication and then 
you're progressively not focusing on the two most important things which is your diet and your lifestyle and you end up like on insulin and then insulin has got as uh, uh, you know problems where you have to rotate the site nutrition effects hypoglycemia yada 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 it's just a cycle of effects so it's focused oh, yeah. on the diet and the lifestyle is what but also yeah once you're prescribed medications make sure you don't forget the other two just like dr keith said well i'm, I'm going to tell you guys a very gruesome story so if you are if you're not a big fan of let's say graphic details turn the audio off <laughs> just a warning but having worked in a hospital and pretty sure machan can attest to this as well you see a lot of patients come in with diabetic complications um some of the most common complications we've seen is that happens at the feet so sometimes when there is problems with ulcers at the feet sometimes there can be improper blood flow to the feet sometimes even it can be to that extent where there's gangrene of the feet and gangrene means that basically there is no blood flow to a part of the foot that results in the tissue of the foot dying so you will actually see for example if i had gangrene of this finger you right now it's nice and brightly pink which means there's blood flow but as soon as blood flow stops going it will turn pale once it turns pale it will start to turn dark and eventually black starts to smell and eventually it may even fall off and i'm going to tell you this i still remember this this patient very very vividly in the sense that di especially diabetes diabetes did not adhere to any diet advice did not follow a good lifestyle habit such as any exercise or anything and did not want to take his medications simply because when we asked him why he said i just want to enjoy my life i understand of course you don't want to bound your life by all these kind of things but but this is what happens when there's no control or a system in your life to take care of these things he was in the hospital for about 2 months and in order to save his life from diabetes trying to consume him we have to put him on all sorts of medications in the hospital but the worst part is when you start seeing that we have to amputate both his legs because of diabetes what are you going to do this is someone who wanted to live and live life to the fullest he had a great attitude about life which we all appreciated really wish he didn't have diabetes because if he just taken care of it just taken those medications just you know what instead of having a big meal of you know that's containing a lot of fat and carbohydrate and stuff maybe just a salad maybe just gone on a walk for 20 or 30 minutes a day maybe things would have changed and so which is why i'm pretty sure dr keith will agree to this as well both of us here today for all of you listening this is probably the most important message from this podcast and i'm terribly sorry to to say this on a serious note but please 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 take care of those three important things we talked about diet your lifestyle with regards to exercise and physical activity and your medications we don't want to see anyone in this world suffering from complications of diabetes and even sometimes dying because of diabetes of course as doctors we want everyone to live happy healthy and for a very long time so we urge you to take care of all these three things at the same time and don't ignore any of these all these three things are equally important medications if you haven't been prescribed these two things definitely once you prescribe medications it's okay there's still a chance to keep this under control make sure all three are in control absolutely banana from what you said one thing that instantly clicked was when he said that he wants to enjoy his life which is why he didn't take the medications that in life said but he was in a situation where he had to have his legs amputated now when you say enjoy life his enjoyment in life pretty much ended there it kind of restricted him from a lot of things he could have enjoyed moving forward so if he were if he had been a little bit more careful with his diet lifestyle and his workout that would have let him have a more sustain like a longer period of time where he could have enjoyed a lot of things be it even having a stroll with your friends outside is something that will you know give you an immense joy but you you need legs to do that there are a lot of activities that are only possible if you are fully mobile if you have your lower limbs so if you're at a, if you're at a point where you need to get amputated 
that kind of limits a lot of those fun from your life. So that's not at all a good reason to, and we do respect and we're not here to judge, but that's unfortunately where it is. And then, uh, yeah, exactly. So that's, that's, that's a very important thing. And when you say probably not doing well or passing away from diabetes, that's one, maybe not the thing that's going to kill you because diabetes is a very important factor that contributes to a lot of other diseases. Most importantly being, you know, uh, like heart disease. Cardio, yeah, cardiovascular diseases. I would say both yeah. of them, cardiovascular. And that's just basically just due to the fact that diabetes plays a huge role in the, uh, you know, the, the clogging, the fat clogging thing called atherosclerosis. So it's like a major factor there. So beat the heart, it's going to clog the arteries that supply blood to the, to the muscle of the heart. Which and we talked problem. about what happens when blood supply is diminished, turns yeah. pale, then dark, exactly. then black, and it's dead. Exactly. So, so it's actually, like it. you said, part of part of your heart muscle will literally die. Will die. So that's what's called ischemia when there's when there's less blood. It's infarction when it dies. So in, when you have so so that's along the lines of peripheral vascular diseases. You have arteries that supply your hand, and then you don't have enough. It's clogged. You don't have enough blood going there. You have neurovascular problems because you know your sensation is deranged. That would lead to because the blood, blood, your nerves even need blood supply. Blood supply for yeah. the nerves, nerves yeah, to function. Even, Those even, blood supply even dies even, off. Exactly. Even if it's not direct blood supply, it could be from you know other other vasculature. So it's very important. So beat your heart, and then you have brain that needs blood. If that's not getting enough blood, that leads to problems there. It could lead clots going to your brain, leading to stroke. You need kidneys that need blood. If that's, going to be, if that's not going to go there, then that's going to be a problem. Your blood's not going to get filtered properly. It's going to have a strain in your heart. Your heart's going to fail. You got to, so diabetes is something that is taken so lightly in a society today just because of the interventions we have for it, be it medications, insulin. It's such like it's second nature. You see somebody and then you're like, uh, ah, you get diabetes under. You get diabetes under. And sugar under. Uh, sugar Ah, sorry, 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 sugar under. And it's, it's like, it's nothing. And we are like, and since we've been, we see so many people in society, we're like, even when we grew up, it's like, ah, sugar under, so what's the problem? I don't matter the recommend law, insulin recommend law. Like my, personally, my, my granddad, and a lot of people, everybody, it's so natural. But mm. the, the, the main point that's missed out is, he's sugar in the one area, my diabetes in one area, it's, that doesn't kill you. A lot of other things kill you. Mm. And you might be thinking at the end of the day, we're all going to die. But just, uh, <laughs> you know, just take care of yourself. <laughs> just take care of yourself. You can always do a good quality of life. It affects your quality of life. That's the most mm. important thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So what are the three most important things we want everyone to take care of? Diet. Uh-huh. Workout slash lifestyle slash physical activity and exactly. your medication. There you go. Three important things. So uh, that's all from us today. And to really come to you and have this conversation with you. Get a strong So we've really had a wonderful time. We really opened. Mm. We, we were quite impromptu with the way we came up with things. And I think that's really good because it helps yeah. us be a bit more natural instead of really mm. planning a script out of this. Yeah. One, one very important thing is we have a third member who is a very crucial and who's the main member of our team who is missing with us today. Mm -hmm. It's not just the two of us. If she were here, Namada I swear to God. Namada Priyangariya. Priyangariya, Dr. Sara Samir, Saramachi is not there. Saramachi, yeah, I'm going to say BCI for Saramachi. Saramachi, I'm going to say. 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 Actually, the, 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 the three of us are really good friends. Yeah. I just felt like this was just, just another Zoom conversation uh, that we usually have. Mm. But 
we are saying things that really matter and we want to pass the message over so if we had yeah. salamachi with us it would have been yet another conversation where we discuss very vital and important topics mm-hmm. so i'm really happy and i'm glad that you guys are able to join us macha anything else da all good just i just want everyone to remember those three things and i hope right. that everyone stays happy healthy yeah for a very so, long time exactly so guys uh, any my our plan is uh I think we would probably hit with one podcast every week if possible and not necessarily and we would think of focusing on medical slash healthcare related events that happened over the week. We mm. kind of take a note of them so we can see your relevant at the same time updated give us a view uh, be informed about it and all of us are mm. let's say healthcare or medically inclined going so so the most important thing is the most important thing is staying informed. So if we deal with relevant topics, it could be also off-speed topics or anything. But I think it's more to do with things that happen now. If we kind of hit it, be it the uh, changes in the COVID vaccines or changes in the variant, discussion of a fourth booster, all these are things that are, you know, things that you hear in the news and you're thinking, hmm, I mean, what would actual doctors think? Or what would people like us think? Or, you know, it's good to have a view. So I think it'd be really nice if we could discuss those things. But forward. also at the same time, if anyone watching this has anything that you know they're concerned about and they want to know more about, feel free to drop a comment. We'll definitely address it. Yeah, exactly. So put your, uh, I mean, um, comment eventually. Yeah, Alingla will also put our Instagram uh, link in the description box. Always DM us. We are always approachable. We'll get back to you straight away. We are real people. We have told you who we are. So, uh, and if it is things that we think need a more kind of higher opinion, we will definitely be. We won't be giving you abstract things. We'll be very well informed and giving you the right information. Guarantee you mm-hmm. that. That's that's Divikara Health and Education Team signing out. And see you until next time. Take care, guys. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And Bye bye. Apana pagla.